New report says social workers in Oregon are leaving kids in unsafe homes almost half the time they investigate child welfare cases. And that report was written by the Department of Human Services that reviewed a random sample of case decisions. Our Tim Becker is here now, and he's been digging deeper into this. What would you find out, Tim? Well, stunning is a word used by State Senator Sarah Gelser to describe what is in that report. She's the one who really brought it out into the open, part of her continuing effort to revamp Oregon's child welfare system. Did you receive the report from me? Yes. Am I the only person that gave you yes. the report? Does yes. that concern you? That yes, it's I'm the person that gave a great you the report? Deal. Senator Gelser's exchange with DHS Director Clyde Psyche came as she revealed the report generated by the Critical Incident Response Team, or CERT Team, at the DHS. Gelzer says the report exposes glaring problems with the agency's case assessment protocol. That is a significant problem because these assessments are how we determine whether kids are safe after somebody has called into the hotline. The CERT team randomly sampled 101 reported cases of possible child abuse and neglect and had them reviewed by outside safety consultants. In 47 of those cases, the reviewers did not agree with the caseworker's conclusion that children were safe. What was stunning to me was to read to read the examples and to see how severe they were. She's talking about stories like this. Three siblings locked in a basement for days, only allowed to leave to use the restroom. The caseworker declared them safe because the parents were willing to get them to counseling. Another case began with a report of rats biting children in a home that also has the smell of animal feces and garbage. The caseworker confirms those concerns and documents the home as being unclean, but the case is open for four months with no safety threat considered. 47 kids identified as safe that were clearly very unsafe. Gelser says the report reiterates how important it is for lawmakers to properly fund child welfare agencies. But if you have an adequate and well-trained and well-supported workforce, you are going to have quality assessments and quality screening, and then we'll have safer kids. We reached out to the DHS for a response. They referred us to Director Clyde Sika's testimony before the committee yesterday that you saw part of. He says resources are indeed an issue, and he's delving deeper into the report. Meanwhile, Senator Gelser just introduced a bill uh, amendment requiring caseworkers to now record definitive conclusions. That would be true, false, or unable to determine when, a ch when assessing child abuse reports. Back to you.